BBS Kids, what's in Smash? So for this first skin, it's a trio, but it's this trio. All right, for the speed. So for the fast speed, the other skins are in later for the video. So for the speed, so for the fast speed dash, so this is faster than Sonic. And then for the slow, as well, just that fast. So for their job, first of all, they become trios. So I mean, like, that's what they normally are. So first of all, <laughs> this guy would transform into a cat. And then, well, its job, when he transform into it, would be a scratch. On, well, not on a peep. Well, not on a third trio, but there would, but second, so, how does this work, is, well, the stage is like this, and, well, the persons are like that, and then, well, Nature Cat is first up there, and then, second we got is this, which is transformed into a dog, which comes in third, Instead of this, because how is he going to attack the character? So, for that, it would bite onto them. And the limit is five combo bites. By the way, these are from Nature Cats. And then last, we got this guy, which is in where Nature Cat was. He would poke out his flag like that. Now for the side tilts, it is from Builder Bob, and while he would still be the first to be, like, hit from forward. So, take this as an example. Well, see, there's three people right there. So, Builder Bob would be this person right there. Transforming Hammer Slash. Now for its up tilt, this is well Sid the science guy so this guy right here so see that he's holding a mirror his up tilt would just get that mirror up like that and this is a two part where one is that and one is that and also to damage part to combo to combo for its down tilt, it would do a push-up. I mean, crouch animation, it would do a push-up. For, for its crouch animation, for its down tilt, it would be... Well, yeah, this is a three-part. So, for this, first of all, we got Caillou. Now, he would be up front right there. And what he will do is just do a punch, which isn't like this. It is like this. And well, for the third part, I mean, for the second part, it, instead, this is from right there, which is from Sesame Street's, not Elmo, but the vampire would bite their leg, like this leg right and then left the third part is left actually yeah this is a fourth part so for this so for the middle one this would be in the air this could have been its up tilt for this he would transform into an octopus and then will jump and then will kick him in the air well with its six tentacles. So for its side, side smash, this would be a, the ramp. And this would be the skateboard. Yeah, this is actually its up smash. This would be, well, he would, this would be right here. And well, he would just ride with it and then go up. And then, well, go down and off the skateboard this kind of takes some damage because he's like this and skateboard is like this 
So like that, like that. No, like this. So yeah, this takes damage to him too. So while that, that will take damage depending on the fall. If it's a great fall, then that would like insta kill himself. But if it's hit by someone, if someone hit by that, then that would just be a spike. And if it depends, if it hits on the skateboard, it would be a spike, but it would drop himself, which makes some damage. But if it hits him, it would still be a spike, but his skateboard would be a loss and it would be 10 damage. While the other parts would just be, let's say, 50 damage. Or insta-kill, if you're at 50 already. So for, and more. So for, well, if it's not from a great fall, it is 10 damage still. Yeah, there is no parachute. And by the way, for its side smash for real, he would be riding on a spike. I mean, on its spike. Not the one that was... That guy right there would be using a bike and with helmets on. And for this, it would just be as fast as he was. And, well, it would just be that time. It would be ended by then. But if you're doing that in the air, like, about to fall down, like, normally where you're balanced, then you would fall down, and the bike would fall down, which makes the bike spiking, and you be able to spike. So, for its sound smash, this guy was in the middle, so he would drop it, and also throw it. He would just... Give it to the other person. And then, well, that other person would drop it. <sighs> he has too many smash spikes. Because that is a spike. For its grab, this is a two-person grab. Where it is the trio. So, the middle wouldn't be left out. So, for this, the back person and the front person would hug the opponent and if that doesn't have a gun then well the middle one gets a chance because well that is his back throw so for its back throw it would grab the opponent by the head and well it would accept that on the front and well on the head and then grab them by their body and then get trade them with the back person, which, well, if the back person already caught, then he would just throw it to the middle one, and then, well, the other PBS kid from the back will throw it at back at the same size. So, for this, yeah, this takes a lot of damage for them. If you're already at 50 damage, don't worry, that would take 50 damage. So, yeah. Not 50 damage, it's just throwing it to him. And he would catch it from behind. And then we'll throw it. Or forward. This in total takes 10 damage. For its up throw, this will be throwing it upwards. And when it goes down, he would grab it. The middle one. Now for its middle up throw, it would be the same thing. For the last person, but if but if the back person has uh, somebody, he would throw up, and then well, ex except uh, instead he would throw it up, but he would throw it forward, which almost makes it at the same time he almost hit heads. And two, right here, and well, yeah, that would be at the same time, but it would break his legs of 
the middle one catched. So well for it. Down throw. This is throwing it down. And while like Harry's down throw, it makes it backwards. So, so for that, the middle one would get a chance. And for its down throw, it's the exact same. And then for its fourth throw, he just throw it above the front. For its back throw, it just throw it above to the back. And well for when the back person has a partner to grab with, he will just do Incineroar's back throw, and this would take 10 damage, and if they hit each other, that is only 1 damage. 2 damage, actually. 1 for him and 1 for him. What about his back throw? Have I done his back throw yet? Oh, yeah, I did. Alright, for his front throw, this wouldn't give the middle the chance. This would unlash it and then throw it. I'm just kidding. He would unlash it and then use a ping ball. I mean, not a ping ball. It's a ping pong net. And, well, he would hit him. And if the back, it would copy what he did. What about tether grabs? Yeah. So for this, this would be a grab by, well, for the back person, he would grab the middle one by its leg, and the middle one would grab the front one by its leg, that way both of their legs. And, yeah, that's basically its tether grab. And when he got on the ledge, and he is on a stage now, then, well, what happened is that he will get on and grab the opponent. I mean, grab the PBS kid just in time and then unlash himself. And then the other one would still be grabbing onto his feet, ungrab, and then grab him, and then that. For its neutral special, this is a copy ability like Kirby. So, I mean, all of his moves, though. This only lasts for about, let's say... Six seconds. So for this, he turns into Wild Kratz. Okay? And then, who is the closest? Well, from forward to him. And if forward is not the closest, then back. So, well, for this, this would work like getting the card into him and then getting that power as that animal but except it's not animals it's characters unless if there's not in the roster hazards but not like the one that take damage like captain toad that's the one that they could also <sighs> capture and by the way they take all of their moves so by the way the forward one in a Back one would be exactly what it showed you, forward and back. That's what it is. So forward side special, it is exactly what it is. I mean, exactly what you think. Static electricity, which just wipes his balloon off the middle shirt and the, I mean, this one. Wipe, wipe the middle's shirt with the balloon and figures that out with the light bulb. Now, if the stage is back, that is perfect for tethering because that would be also for tethering. But what about the back one? Repeat the same process and you would get the back one. I mean, not the same process. So, who is willing to be fights it? Then, who? For this one, yeah, if you take damage, then a whole one takes damage, but not really, not whole of them dies, but it, they would stay there for other people, and the limit is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or 13, 14, 15, or 16, or 17. So, for it's up special, this is, well, this guy right there. 
he transforms into him, and well, he's big. So, how this works. This will, all of them will transform into this big red dog, Clifford, and well, what they would be at the end would be at their heads. So, they would jump when they're done. So, and by the way, this lasts about 10, 20, 15 seconds. And by the way, if you press it again, his arms would be in the air and tethering. And by the way, its arm would stay there. When it's tethering, then his arms would stay there. And well, he would escape it out of there because the legs that he will be using as well this one i mean that one but they would be inside this one and then well it would be grabbing onto it so instead of that it would be inside of that and then when they're done they would grab that because the claw would claw up through there so yeah, it just works the same as the side special. Now for its sound special, this is just a counter where, I mean, this isn't a counter. This will change. Like, change the middle one into the forward, and then, well, the one that was supposed to be there, if you press it again, then the back one will be the middle one. And then if you press it again, the middle one would be the back one and then well the other combination the middle would be the back one and then well the forward gets his place back and then well at the middle one the four that that one would be in the middle one and then the back one would just transform into there the middle one would be there if you press it again. Now the time that I said it, how much that I've said it? I don't know, but that's in order. And if you press it again by that time, then it would just transform into normal by the order. I don't know what to name them. So, I don't know. Yeah, like Popo and Ben. I don't think that's what their name is. They have names for them. So for the final smash, the PBX kids transform into, well, Elmo. So when he transforms into Elmo, he would be exact same like that. But the stage is like this. Elmo would be, instead of like his fighting pose, like... That way, it would be like this way, where he would stretch out his arms, and well, basically, this is called every, this is called PBS Kids Show. So, I mean, or movies. So, for this, this would be all the characters, like this, in this video, they would be all, well, including Big Bird, and the other characters in that that were in kids, PBS kids. So for that, this would be, well, every attack that they do, well, their main one. Like, so like, Builder Bob, side tilt, that's what Builder Bob would do on Will. It's, if it's a duo, then, if, then it will be the back person, but if it's not, then it's just the person that they're tackling. By the way, in order to do this, it would be white screen, and then, well, if it's not fully faded, then, well, the white screen would be still appear. So, for its other skins, it's what I talked about for its down special. <sighs> That's what it would be, but except who... Kills also change. So, like, point of it sounds special. Well, except for the night skin, if there was. The point of the down special is, well, the forward one. They would still take all of the same damage. So, it's just to see what damage they are. 
So, yeah, it's not just to see what damage you are. Anybody that's forward, it would just be, well, yeah, they would, it would show their damage. So, what, so whoever that attacked is, that would be, so, take example, you doing Falcon Punch on him, that would take damage to him, but not to the middle, but if you switch the middle to the, that one, it would just, well, <laughs> take damage to the middle, even though it's right here. Now, for its night skin, it is a duo, which is that and that. So, for its time, it would play this animation and pause it at this. This wouldn't cover the whole entire screen, but almost. So, like tablet, it would, it would be like this, and it would cover this part of it. Only that part. So it's haunt. And now, for, and now also for its down special change, the the that one would be drinking recovery yeah it takes help back so it would be at this part two people would be in there up times and yeah that's what it was and now for it's well done times he says doink he scratches his head without music and will say doink like that so time for twinning animations so for this they would play with instruments the middle one would be instead like this, the stage is like this, but except it would be like this instead to show the winning screen. Now everything is just, well, green. The room is green during the winning animations. So for this, they would play their, I mean, play their instruments. So that one would just play on the guitar, the middle one would play with drums, with a stick too, but like nature, I mean like drumsticks. And for the back one, they play with a keyboard piano. And instead of like both of them, I wanted to see them, so they would be from the back but still lined up but from the back a little for it's no contest screen he just claps but except the middle one would work each other up and then the back one would just clap with i mean with mid backs forward hand and well the middle's backhand, so like that, and then its left hand would clap behind him. Yeah, that says no contest screen. He has two con no contest screen. So for its losing animation, to see everybody, instead of like straight, you wouldn't be able to see them if they're like in the same way because you're in square unless if they're big enough but like you wouldn't be able to see them at eight with eight people losing i mean seven people losing. so for this instead of being straight it would be well as in like this they would be like that screen towards so yeah so that you'd be able to see them and now let's start with not in the lead winning animations he would just dance but backwards he didn't notice that and this is only one of the and by the way it's that guy would be like dancing and then and then for its pose it would be well oh Oh, which would it hold up anything, but it's not an uppercut, it's just for a trophy. Now 
what would the other PBS games would be. Well, not close to them. The middle one would be it. the this one would be I mean this one would be it. So if you use it, it sounds special and its middle one is well this one, then it would just be the same thing.